sa video na to, magsasolve tayo ng mga problems relating to noise na part pa rin ng EST subject for the ECE board exam. So, for the problem number 1, the signal to noise ratio is 30 decibel at the input to an amplifier and 27.3 decibel at the output. What is the noise temperature of the amplifier? So, solving for this, ang pinapahanap is yung noise temperature of the amplifier and meron tayong formula for equivalent noise temperature na T EQ equal to ambient temperature times noise factor minus 1 si TA pwede natin makuha yan since uh, pwede natin i-assume na ang val niya at room temperature is 17 degree celsius Si noise factor naman, hindi pa natin makukuha yan. Pero, masasolve natin dahil given naman sa sa, sa problem, yung uh, values ng signal to noise ratio ng input at ng output. Ang formula para sa noise, noise factor is signal to noise ratio input over signal to noise ratio output. Sa problem, binigay sa atin yung SNR ng input at output. Kaya nga lang naka nakadecibel. So sa formula na to, dapat yung unitless yung values ng SNR natin. Since ratio nga ang pinag-uusapan, so dapat so yung SNR ay yung ratio ng pa, ng power ng signal at ng power ng noise. I-convert muna natin yung SNR na nakadecibel papuntang Unitless. So, di ba, meron tayong formula na SNR na nakadecibel equal kay 10 log SNR. So, ang gagawin natin is eto, pwede natin i-rewrite as since eto yung kukunin natin, pwede natin i-rewrite ng pwede natin i-rewrite ng SNR equal to base 10 raised to SNR na dB over 10. So, para makuha natin si signal to noise ratio input, so that's equal to 10 raised to 30 over 10. Para naman makuha natin si signal to noise ratio sa output, that's equal to 10 raised to 27.3 over 10. So, is substitute na natin yung na-compute nating SNR for input and output kay noise factor na formula. So, that's 10 raised to 30 over 10 over 10 raised to 27.3 over 10. That's equal to, so that's equal to 1.86. So, 1.86. Ang noise factor natin is 1.86. Since nakuha na natin si noise factor, so, babalik tayo ngayon sa una nating formula. So, temperature equivalent is equal to ambient temperature. So, hindi dito sinabi kung ano yung temperature condition. That's why i-assume natin na naka room temperature siya. And the room temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. And since dapat naka in terms of as a unit, so dapat Kelvin yung gagamitin natin na unit. So, i-convert natin yung Celsius into Kelvin. So, that's 17 plus 273 Kelvin. And then, multiply then multiply natin sa F minus 1 and F is 1.76 minus 1.86 minus 1. So, the answer is 249.4. So, this is equal to this is approximately equal round down natin 249 and that's letter A. 249 Kelvin letter A. For problem number 2, calculate the thermal noise voltage of the two resistors, 5 kilo ohms and 20 kilo ohms, 
for a 10 kilohertz bandwidth at 27 degrees Celsius if they are connected in parallel. So, meron daw tayong dalawang parallel na nakakonect. Ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung noise voltage or thermal noise voltage ng dalawang resistor. At may binigay sa ating condition. So, to solve first, so, di ba? So, to solve first, so, ang una natin gagawin is pag-combine muna natin yung dalawang resistor. And since nakaparallel sila, so, the the, the the formula for that is the product over sum of the two resistors. So, our solution will be 31, which is 5 kilo ohms, 5k, multiplied by 20k, over R1 plus R2, 5k plus 20k. And that's equal to 4k. So, ang formula para sa noise voltage is apat na kilo ng tabako at rice. So, nakuha na natin si R and si B is yung bandwidth and given sa yung bandwidth na 10 kilohertz yung T naman is given rin na 27 degrees Celsius pero dapat nakakonvert into Kelvin and yung K naman is makukuha natin dahil constant yan at matatagpuan natin sa calculator K is actually constant number 25 sa Casio calculator so madali na lang to dahil directly substitute na lang natin yung mga values so so magiging square root of 4 times constant 25 yun yung K and yung temperature natin in Kelvin is 27 plus 273 times bandwidth natin na given na 10 kilohertz so 10 times 10 raised to 3 times 4 times 10 raised to 3 na value ng resistance combined in parallel so solving for this we will get so 0 0.81 microvolts 0 0.81 microvolts and that's letter D for our third problem for three cascaded amplifier stages each with noise figures of 3 decibel and power gains of 10 decibel determine the total noise figure in dB Ang formula na gagamitin natin dito is yung tinatawag na freeze formula. So, ang freeze formula ay sinasabi na total noise factor is equal to noise factor 1 plus noise factor 2 minus 1 over gain 1 plus noise factor 3 minus 1 over gain 1 times gain 2. And all of these are express in terms of unitless. Diba? Yung, yung F1 natin, kanina is unitless. And G1 naman is the gain of power. So, kung gain ang pag-uusapan, so that's unitless kasi that's output over input. Pero ang given sa atin are in terms of decibel. Kaya, i-convert natin muna yung dec decibel into unit less. So, yung F1 ay pwede nating isulat. <coughs> so, since pare-parehas So, since pare-parehas naman sila ng noise figure ay ng noise factor at nung gain. So, pare-parehas lang rin yung ilalagay natin each va each terms or each values. So, so ito na yung kakalabasan niyan. Since parehas naman ng values lahat ng noise factor at lahat ng gain. So, pwede natin gawin niya na ito para pag itatype natin sa calculator, para konti na lang itatype sa calculator. 
pwede natin na yung value na ito, nung F1 or yung F, i-store natin sa A. And yung value ng gain, i-store natin sa B. So, parang ganito yung mangyayari. Yung noise factor ay in-store ko sa A para diretso type na lang ako. At yung B naman is yung gain. So, ang lalabas ng total noise factor is 2.19. Pero, ang pinapahanap kasi sa atin is the total noise figure. And si total noise figure ay may formula na 10 log noise factor. So, since nakuha na natin si noise factor at yung noise factor na yan is yung total, meaning yung makukuha natin kapag ginawa natin 10 log noise factor is yung total noise figure na express in decibels. So, magiging noise factor in decibel is equal to 10 log 2.19. Solving for this, we will get that the total noise figure is equal to 3.41 decibels. So, the total noise figure is equal to 3.41 decibels. For problem number 4, determine the shot noise for a diode with a forward bias of 1.40 mA over an 80 kHz bandwidth. So, the formula for the shot noise current is square root of 2 BIQ. B is the bandwidth, I is the forward, forward current of the diode, and Q is the charge in column of an electron. So, yung Q ay makikita natin sa Casio calculator at constant 23. So, madali na lang to kasi given na sa problem yung forward bias current at yung bandwidth. At meron na rin tayong values ng Q. So, we'll just directly substitute the given to our formula. So, that will become square root of 2 times 80 times 10 raised to 3. That's our bandwidth. And 1.4 times 10 raised to negative 3. That's our forward bias current. And Q is our constant 23 found in our calculator. So solving for this, we will get 5.99 or 6 nano ampere. Or that's equal to 0 0.006 micro ampere. And from the choices, that's letter B. So for our problem number 5, we have this problem. The noise produced by a resistor is to be amplified by a noiseless amplifier having a voltage gain of 75 and a bandwidth of 200 kHz. A sensitive meter at the output reads 240 microvolts. RMS. Assuming operation at 37 degrees, calculate the resistor's resistance. So, so, to fully understand the problem, so, sabi dito, meron daw tayong resistor na inamplify. So, meron daw tayong resistor na nasa input na inamplify natin using amplifier na may voltage gain na 75 na nag-ooperate at 100 kHz. Meron daw tayong meter sa output na sinasabing ang output na daw natin is 240 microvolts. Assuming na sa input, ang condition natin at nag-ooperate ang input natin 
na at 37 degrees Celsius, ano daw yung value ng resistance or resistor na nagpo-produce ng noise na yon? So, to begin with, mag start tayo sa voltage gain. ba diba, si voltage gain is, or AV, si voltage gain is equal kay voltage output over voltage input. And, uh, sa output, binigay na sa atin yung values na 240 microvolts. Pagdating naman sa input, hindi natin alam yon Pero, binigyan tayo ng condition dito na yung input daw natin ay nagpro-produce ng noise. Meaning, since voltage input ang hinahanap natin, ang ibig sabihin nun na ang input natin ay nagpro-produce ng noise voltage. Therefore, if we will rewrite this, yung VO natin is yung 240 microvolts. over yung voltage input natin na nagpo-produce ng noise voltage. And recall natin na ang noise voltage, ang formula doon is square root of 4 k t b r Ang hinahanap sa atin is yung value ng resistance na ito. Pero yung bandwidth given na rin at yung temperature condition na 37 degrees Celsius is given na rin. And K is constant. This is constant 25 sa Casio calculator. So, ano daw yung values ng R? And given na rin sa atin yung gain or voltage gain na 75. So, if we're going to rewrite this, magiging 75, that's our voltage gain, equal to 240 times 10 raised to 6 that's our output voltage over output uh, over input voltage and our input voltage is equal to square root of 4 times k times temperature times bandwidth times resistance so that's equal to square root of 4 times constant 25 times yung temperature natin should be cross should be expressed in SI which is Kelvin so 37 plus 273 273 Kelvin times 100 times 10 raised to 3 that's our bandwidth and our resistance na pinapahanap solving for this directly using calculator using its shift calc function we will get 5,981.29 ohms or that's approximately equal to 6,000 kilo ohms so R is equal to 6 kilo ohms and that's letter B thank you for watching and please like and subscribe